coaster that the hotel's got basically shows you where I've walked from. So I was up here, came all the way down to Lidford, then to Tavistock, and then here we are in Yelverton, and we're heading down there to the bottom of the coaster. <laughs> That's what I should call it, the coaster challenge. I'm ready to go. Don't think I'm going to need my coat today because the weather looks really nice. Right, good morning. So, day three. Stayed in this amazing B&B called Barnabas House. It's run by Graham and Weaver who were so, so lovely, really accommodating, and turns out they're from Caversham in Reading, fellow Reading folk, which is awesome. So today I've got to get to Plymouth. So I just need to work my bearings out, work out the way I'm going, and then, um, yeah, crack on. I think it's 11, 11 or so miles. But yeah, let's do it. So this whole place is just built around this roundabout. I really like Yelverton. That B&B was absolutely lovely. Just what I needed after yesterday. So we're heading down this road I think. I've heard of Drake's Trail. Originally I was going to do the whole of that. It was a bit short and didn't really look that interesting at points. Yeah we've got a tunnel to go through today which will be interesting. Just gotta watch out for bikes on here. How is that dry? After the weather we've had, how on earth is that dry down there? I just met the friendliest cyclist. Opened the gate for him, came through, had a little chat. It's the first time I've not been bollocked by a cyclist. We've had a fair share of mud the past few days. But I still might get muddy jeans, but oh well. At this point I don't really care. Lots of like rubble and old buildings around here. It's so versatile Dartmoor I have to say. friendly joggers Right, so we've got to go through this field of uh, oh, livestock. 
with some horses. Feels like I shouldn't be on it, but you see, just got to be really careful here. And the mud is quite bad. Don't mind me. Right, how am I going to get past you then? Oh, that was not ideal. That horse was so chilled though, especially with the mud. Jesus Christ. But at least we know we're going the right way. The closest I've ever been to a horse, I think. They're quite unpredictable animals. Don't want to be kicked by one of them. Not this far into the trip. Yeah, they're just chilling. Farmer saw me come through as well. I wasn't sure if he was, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if the farmer was going to have a go at me. Just because his livestock were everywhere, I was like, am I supposed to be in here? That's the way the path said. Right, let's get out of the horses field. This is a lovely route though. Has made me realise the past hour or so that the walk is very much not over yet. Actually I think I still need to take it steady. My knees were aching at the pub last night. Before I'd even ordered a drink I couldn't stand up at the bar. I think the lady thought I was uh, drunk or legless. Awful Joe there. So that was a detour from the cycle route. Just gotta get through this crap now. Jesus. Vouch, I'm gonna try and get on this. Oh shit. Still not far enough, is it? Jesus Christ. Right. Oh my gosh. Right, screw that thing. They were 10 miles from Tavistock, Plymouth 10 miles, back on the cycle trail. Yeah, this place is spooky. Is that light I can see at the end? Oh god, it's so wet. Won't be able to see much on the uh, GoPro, but it's just all these random gates. <laughs> this is really cool actually. That was cool. Nice weather today.
Oh, so we've got some more viaducts coming up. So this is a very popular cycle trail. And tons of people out for a little Sunday cycle. And there's just me right in the way, hobbling to Plymouth. <laughs> what a bloody liability. We are right in the middle of a valley. So this path is not dissimilar to the one I did on the first day. It's just obviously the weather's a lot nicer and the scenery's a lot better. There is a wildcat in Dartmoor, the beast of Dartmoor. It definitely lives around here. Legendary animal territory. It's really warming up now. Limbridge Woods now. I've heard a couple of seagulls, which is a good sign. Oh. Well, it's not, because I hate seagulls. One mile to Climbridge. I think that's Plimbridge over there. I'm leaving Plimbridge Woods. It seems to be coming up to like a disused, like an old railway line. Ooh, gotta go careful walking down here. My knee is playing up. Cool, I think we just follow this into Plymouth now. Wow, so this is actually in use. That's all right. So it said in the booklet that they were trying to reopen it Looks like they have. I need to write the next book about my mishaps in Dartmoor. My legs are so done. That's the back of my right leg now. My left knee this morning. Yeah, bikes are pretty lethal. I nearly just got taken out. The path is so thin. Cool, cheers, thanks mate. I'm glad that train conductor got me to pick the pace up. <laughs> Last person through. Some kind of massive explosion then. What the hell that was? Right, there's some industry building up on the right. Ah, 
and it looks like we're hitting sort of town centre now. You can see Dreams. So I think this is Marsh Mills as well. There's the train station. They didn't travel that far, did they? Did they really need a train for that? Right, it's official, we're, we're on the last leg now. Marsh Mills to the lake. It's Ho Lake. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, getting some funny looks from people now. Right, another bloody narrow cycle path. So, that leads to Saltrum. I can use a footpath down here, I think. We got across under this A road. Well, we're in the city now. So you can say what you like about Plymouth. Now, I hear a lot of mixed things, but a uh, guy just on the bridge there was asking me about my trip. Really nice guy, telling him that I come from Oakhampton. He'd obviously just been running, but yeah, proper friendly guy. Just, just really interested in what what I was doing and why I was filming. Just got to follow this uh, river now till we get to the lake. The end is in sight. downhill walking when your knees are done in is actually really hard but I can't I can't even move quickly down this this little bit at all I'm literally like a snail today even look like one with this rucksack on can I say other than this has been a mad, mad adventure the past three days. Nearly there though. There is a pub there and I'm going to use it. Head to the pub quick break then do the finishing bit just really need to get some water this road is dead dangerous the motorcyclist just held me over the road he was like we're still on red we're still on red go man go again another nice person in Plymouth that's literally the worst road I think I've ever crossed in my life So I just popped in there for a pint and some, got my water bottle filled up. It's so cold here now. It's got so, so cold all of a sudden. Now I'm heading over to the finishing point. So I'm wearing three layers. Wasn't this cold in the rain? Well, maybe it's just caught up with me, who knows? Well, that's bloody useful, isn't it? So if you end up walking this route, do not rely on signposting. I've had to make a couple of guesses 
this weekend. Yeah, follow the instructions on the PDF that you can download on Google. To think just days ago, these bridges were like my lifesaver. Just getting a little bit of shelter for a second. Very much appreciated. So I think I need to pair left here. Wow, well, this looks like the lake. I think we're at the end. I mean, I can't find the sign that says we finished, which is annoying. I mean, look at that. I'm at that point where it'll do. I might just follow it up around there. So I had to go past the dam and the castle, which I've done. But not seen anything just yet. Wow. This is the lake. So. That's the most important thing, we've got to the lake, which is the ending point. I just haven't seen the sign. It might be further up that way, but... To be honest, at this point, this, this will do. Mission accomplished. Loads of boats just wrecked around it. Just left to rot. Right, if I don't see the sign, I'm not that worried. I really am not. The thing that I want to get though is the boat. A bit further up to finish properly. It's about a mile away, I think. Using up the last of my energy now. I can't miss that last boat. Walk through this estate. Please don't tell me I need to go up that hill. Nothing like pushing yourself to the limit, right? Up that hill, past that church. Here we go. One last climb. One last climb, we can do it. We can get that boat. If I get that boat, I don't know I'll ever be more happy. Oh, I should have got that. I should have got that. I don't think I've ever pushed myself so much as I have this weekend. It's almost a step too far, but I'm just so determined. Just that'll be such a great finish just to get, get over to the other side of Plymouth. Yeah, get to the other side of Plymouth and I can just, hopefully they, they run Ubers here. Just really want to make it work. Oh, that's got to be it, isn't it? Is that what I'm after? Well, we're at Mount Patton. I swear to God, if I pull this out of the bag, honestly, if I, if I pull this out of the bag, uh, I don't care about the pain I'm in. If I manage to make this work, this is uh, could that be the ferry over there? I'm not gonna lie, I've never been in uh, as much pain as what I'm feeling now in my legs. Massive respect to these people that you know can do a southwest coast path in day straight. It's been an absolute roller coaster the past few days. I think that's it over there, it looks miles away.
Was there not? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the trouble, yeah. I had a couple of points yesterday where it's up in the moors and it said that I was supposed to go a certain way and then yeah. it's just like, wow, <laughs> make the best of it. Just yeah, try and... Have you got Auden's survey on your phone? What's that? Have you got Auden's survey on your phone? Or have you got... No, no, I just, I went by directions on a, um, on a pamphlet. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time it worked. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, do you know? Yeah, I've had that a couple of times on the route. I had to walk through a farmer's field earlier, um, not realising that his livestock were on the other side of the field. To so just carefully open it, and I was like, "Please don't kick me." <laughs> it's been an adventure, though. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, that they're actually a lot more dust. Is that, is that what I'm after? Right. No, 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 no. I'm going to run for that. I think they're in business. Looks like they might be driving away. Yeah, they're driving away. Okay. Oh shit. They're coming back with another boat, shit. Stands on golden sand and watches the ships that go sailing somewhere beyond the sea. She's there watching for me. If I could fly, thanks very much, man. Appreciate it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I managed to get that boat. It wasn't actually the last one either. It was, um, they were running till 10, but I didn't know that. Here we are. We're, we're finished. We're done. What, wow, what more can I say? What a, what a journey that was. Now, I was gonna go and visit the little lighthouse. Do you know what? Some food. So the sun is setting in Plymouth, I've got my taxi booked to get home now, uh, which hopefully won't take too long, but yeah, what a journey that was. Today was surprisingly difficult actually, there's some pretty arduous bits. Yeah, I'll probably do a bit more of a debrief when I'm back in the warm and not so tired, but yeah, if you've watched this video, cheers for tuning in. As much as it's been difficult, I've thoroughly enjoyed this one. A good place to finish at actually, I like Plymouth, it's very cool. So, yeah. See you on uh, the next one when I've rested up.